Okay, Algy. Empty it in Coney Island on Christmas. It's been this way for the last couple of weeks. Well, you can't blame the boys, Knuckles. After all, it's much too hot to work out in the gym. Yeah, I know. If I could only think of some way to get them off the streets, they're bound to get into some kind of a jam. Why don't you talk to the boys themselves? I have. They've been towing the mark. Now the sponsor's got the idea that I'm borrowing worry. But I ain't. Algy, I grew up on these streets. They almost got me the chair. And my gang wasn't any worse than Danny's. Well, where is the gang this morning? Search me. Hey, can't you do that water yet? I want a drink. I'm hot. I'm roasting. Can't we do something to cool off? Yeah, we could go swimming off the dock. Eh, yeah, the cops would grab us for not having no bathing suits. How about the reservoir? Nobody would see us up there. Nobody but a hunk of brass button guards they got. Eh, yeah, lay up, will you, screw notes? Make me hotter with that cooling system. How about the ice house? They run us out of there yesterday, remember? Hey, why can't we dig up some place for the shower? That'll be something. I got it! A fire plug! Ah, the cops would grab us, sure. What do you mean? I seen a flame turning one on Delancey Street just the other morning. That's different. They're legal. Yeah, we'd only turn it on for a few minutes. Yeah, just long enough to get cold. Man, I just love weeding. Yeah, let's do it. Well, if you guys know one that ain't right out in front of a police station, there's one right down on Vassie Street. There ain't no police station there, neither. Hey, wait! Oh, oh, hey. Hey. Oh, hey. Look at me, look at me, it's a fresh job. What's the matter, nobody buy today? What's the matter, nobody help me totally push him off the car? It's just possible, Mr. Wilkies, that Dolan isn't the right man for the job. You know his record. Knuckles Dolan has the full confidence of the club's sponsor's captain. He is completely regenerated. I can understand that very easily. Having his innocence established just before he is to die for committing a murder should reform any man. I ain't a bit sorry for any of you. But it's all hot. Yeah, what's a little water? You know, when the captain phoned me, I had half a mind not to bother trying to square it. Thanks anyway. Don't thank me. Thank Algy. He got his father to come down here and go to bat for you. Pity? I hope he succeeds with Nanny and the others. I'm sure that he will. And I want to thank you for your cooperation, Captain. Keeping young boys out of the reform school is a hobby of mine. But if Nanny and his friends get in any more trouble, they can't expect any leniency from me. I'm sure there will be no more trouble, Captain. The boys will be very safe where I am sending them. I hope so. 
Good day, Captain. Good luck. Uh-oh. Here comes the old man with another one of his lectures, I guess. Quiet, Monks. Where are you going to send us, Mr. Wilkie? My summer home in the Adirondacks. I'd rather go to jail. Ah, summer camp. Sissy stuff. I ain't going. Not for this guy. Ditto. Me neither. What's doing up there? Must you always have excitement? Let me talk to them, Father. No wonder you don't want to go, fellas. It takes nerve to rough it in the country. Who says we ain't got no nerve? No, I've listened to that guy. Yeah, I read about them farms. There ain't no future in that. You're crazy. There's lots of excitement. Exploring caves, tracking down wild animals, camping out at night, plenty to eat, and no cops. Oh, my dear. Think of the things we could swipe. They're state cops. I heard about it. And them. the fishing is great. Imagine early in the morning a rod and a reel and a game fish. You hear that, guys? He said fish. Fishing. And man, I just love catfish. Mm. I promise you won't be bored. Well, it might be okay. It's up to you, boys. It's either the mountains or... Okay, uh, okay, we'll go. Don't jump at confusions. Uh, I ain't gonna stay here alone. Good. You will start this afternoon. I have a station wagon which will be just right for the trip. You uh, drive, of course. Oh, yeah, but I... Uh... I don't know how good I'll be where there ain't no traffic. <laughs> You're not backing out on us, are you, Knuckles? Ah, of course not. I uh, ain't got no lace on my undershirt. Good, then it's all settled. It's Camp Wilkie's or bus. <laughs> oh, great. Can I see you the Let's go. Boy, off the open road for us. Oh, when do we start? Oh, to the high All right. All right, Algy, hop in. OK, Knuckles. Hey. No boat sailing for two days, Judge. Two days? Two days? That's too late, Giles. That's right, Judge. Two whole days. In that time, most anything can happen. Probably will. That seems to amuse you. Hardly. It's simply that I know that Maury gang. And unless I'm very much mistaken, they'll see to it that you never have a chance to testify against them. They have too much at stake. Yes, I know. They're threatening Louise, too. When they got close enough to the apartment to leave this in the mailbox. If you and that ward of yours want to stay healthy, Keep away from that trial. That means Louise, of course. That shouldn't worry you too much. No. They could use her to keep me from testifying. And in the face of such publicity, what can I do but stay off the witness stand? Whatever happens, you can't win. If you evade the gang, the courts will convict you on that bribery indictment. I'd rather take my chances at the trial. Meantime, I've got to get out of town. Where? Briarcliff Manor. That mountain house of yours? It ought to be safe. How'd you get out of here? We'll wait until tonight. You bring the car around to the back alley. We'll come through the basement. You're going to take Louise along? Of course. Tell her to pack. And hurry. You sent for me, Miss Louise? Yes, Simp. I want you to take those bags downstairs. Go on someplace? On a trip, maybe, with the judge? Yes, and you're going, too. In fact, we're all going. Where? Well, I don't know just where. It's Uncle Mal's orders. Oh, gee, I wish he'd have told me. I can't go to a place without calling me mother. I didn't have no idea. Why aren't those bags on the way downstairs? Simp wants to call his mother. He'll call nobody. Those phone wires may be tapped. Tapped? Yes, with my trial coming off next week, I can't trust anybody. Take them to the basement door, Sim. The basement? But why all the secrecy, Uncle Mal? Reporters, photographers. I don't want them trailing me every second. Where are we going? Briarcliff. That place? With that spooky old Agnes? 
Oh, she scares me, Uncle Matt. Nonsense. She's a little peculiar living there alone since my wife died. I don't like her. She was devoted to Lenora. That's why I pensioned her and let her stay on at the manor. I suppose it's better than staying here alone. But it's so gloomy, it reminds me of the morgue. Is it haunted, Miss Louise? I don't think so, but it needs a good ghost to give it a little life. Oh, come, Louise. The car's waiting. Come on, Sim. Get going. We'll make Briar Cliff by midnight. I don't think anyone's seen us. How do you like that? Another flat tire. Why the freights on 11th Avenue could beat this lump? You like our service, tell orders. If you don't like it, tell us. Well, I'm telling you. Now look here, fella. I'm, lo I'm looking. All I can see is a flat tire. Camp work is a bust. Well, we're a bust, aren't we? You uh, drive, of course. That's what he asked Knuckles. You forgot to ask us if we could push. Push? Oh, no. That's not for me. I'm leaving a call. Wake me when it's fixed. Hey, boy, bring up some ice water, will you? Yes, sir. Uh, Say, I was a guest here, too. All right, boys, load up. How much farther, Alton? Oh, about 30 miles or so. Cut the other way! Come on, come on, let's have a little water here. I'd like to... Let me out of here. I got annoyed. Sunday driver, Sunday driver. Give me a mouthpiece, give me a mouthpiece. Help, help, I'm squashed. Come on, screw up, get up here. What's the matter? Hey, Danny, he's black and blue. Anything wrong, Knuckles? Yeah, I think the rear end's damaged. Uh, I think that's my trouble, too. <laughs> <laughs> Giles, what's the matter? I don't know. Are you sure you have enough gas? I filled up in town. Feed line's been leaking. I noticed that last week. I had that repaired. We might have sprung it again. The indicator reads empty. Empty? And that's what comes of dealing with a pack of imbeciles. Where are you going? We passed a gas station back away. I'll bring a mechanic. All right, Giles, but hurry. I'll be right back. What happened? The motor exploded. A spark must have lit the gas from the leak. It's a bomb, a time bomb. Bomb? But, but why? We've got to get off this road. Giles, do something. You must do something. <coughs> well, I'll try to flag this car. In trouble? Yes, had a blowout, skidded in the bank. Could you give us a lift? No. Yeah. No. Keep quiet, fellas. Sure, we'll be glad to have you. Tell them to get in. Thank you. Sim, get the baggage. All right, Louise. You're going far? To Briarcliff Manor, about five miles up the road. Well, we're practically there now. Step to the back, folks. Plenty of room back here. Don't crowd the front of the car. Hey, hey, have your exact fares ready. Son. Women and children first. I'm Judge Malcolm Parker. Judge? Five million guys thumbing their way along the road. And we gotta pick up a judge. That's fake. 
stood there for centuries. All my wife's ancestors are buried there. So is she. It's exclusively for the family. Mister, you has my word. I, I won't intrude on your family. Don't see any lights. Where's Agnes, I wonder? Well, that's that. Rear end shot. But I heap. Yeah, I guess our bus is about done for. Okay, I uh, stuff, huh? don't suppose you could put us up for the night. Of course not. We haven't the room. Boys, I uh, guess we're gonna have to walk. We'll send back for the baggage. Nice people. <coughs> hey, Lee, don't do that. What are you trying to do, scare the dead lady? The graveyard! <laughs> Didn't you ever see a tombstone before? It, it was a man. It was a shadow, wasn't it, Giles? Bye. Wait a minute, boys. Oh, Sim, bring their baggage upstairs with ours. Okay, but I'll be delighted to have you stay with us. Come on, boys. Whoa. Nice job, huh? Calm yourself, calm yourself. You don't believe in ghosts, do you? No, sir. I don't believe in them. I, I'm scared of them. What ails you? I, I saw a face. A ghost's face. Oh, nonsense. It's probably Agnes, my housekeeper. She's a little peculiar. Come along. Yeah, that's, that's getting Confound it, where is she? I telephoned her to expect us. Well, this place makes me awful nervous. And my stomach is doing the jumping jive. Rubbish, there's nothing to fear. Nothing to fear? Then what's all the screaming about? Where is she? She think I am. She's making a red cap out of me. Tell them kids and I got to the bag. I don't know where to pull them. Gosh, I never... What a guy. Does she think I am anyhow? An elephant? Perhaps one of you boys will go around the back, climb in the window, and unlatch this door. That's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. You go. Why don't you go? He's going. You go. You go. I'm willing, but I can't convince my feet. Yes, Who's that? Who's lighting It's a light. Someone like it. Someone Good evening. Why is the house dark? Won't you come in? That's better. You should have had this fire going. Lenora never likes heat. Lenora's dead. What makes this place so cold? It's age. There is never any warmth where the dead do not rest. Tommy Rot. Oh, good evening, Cook. Good evening, sir. We have guests, unexpected guests. Serve dinner for them. We'll eat a little later. Yes, sir. Where are you going? Well, I must get a little rest and wash up for dinner. Hey, boss, this stuff's heavy. Where'll I put it? Take it up to my suite. You show the boys to my quarters, Agnes. Perhaps you'd like to get ready for dinner. It'll be served shortly. Come on, boys. Why 
do you want to clutter up the house with that mob? That time bomb has me worried. Maybe Maury's gang has followed me here. Those boys may prevent a murder. Yes, maybe. Come along, boys. Feel just like Snow White. She gives you an apple, don't eat it. Max, I sure do miss that old plantation. Oh, there you are. I wondered where... What's the matter? Have you seen a ghost? I told you they trail me. I'm not safe. I haven't seen any strangers. I did. At that window only five minutes ago. It's your imagination. How could they find out you were up here? I don't know. They must have a map of the house. I found this note stuck in the wall right there. I'll sleep in Louise's room tonight. Aren't they after her, too? I'll put Louise in an adjoining room so she can hear if anything happens to me. And I can hear if anything happens to her. You'd like for something to happen to Louise, wouldn't you? With Louise out of the way, your slow embezzling of her fortune would never be found out. And with me out of the way, you could get hold of her and her money. Perhaps you know something about these death threats. Don't be ridiculous. Cigarette? No. Let's go into dinner. Jackson, which one of these tools do you use? Do what you always do. Use your mitts. Hey, use your mitts. Where's Knuckles? Isn't he going to eat? He's taking a bath. That kid's going to get sick from washing himself so much. Hmm. Oh, what have we got here? Cigars. 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 Well, come here. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Cigars ain't for kids. Oh, nice have you got a mask on? Oh, yeah, come here. Give me a drink. Will you? Gentlemen of the board, that last quotation was the bunk, see? What we need is more cooperation. I protest. Sit down. Now we gotta stop amalgamated from muscling in on small car rackets. See, that's the first thing we gotta do. I protest. Sit down. Who is that guy? That's the president. Tall him out, tall him out. <laughs>
the best part of a cigar is the last inch. Danny? He got sick. Ah, uh, sissies. Well, they shouldn't eat so much. What's the cigars, not the food? Yeah, oh, well, that serves them right. You need any help, Danny? No, I'll be all right. I only took a couple of puffs. Cigars ain't for kids. Come on. Agnes, we're ready for dinner. <laughs> Say, haven't I seen you somewhere before? Yes, sir. I was on trial in your court. I'm Knuckles Dolan. Knuckles Dolan? That's right. You sentenced me to death for murder. I was innocent, afterwards exonerated. Remember? I'm up here with the boys, their guardian. She's up here to murder me. I remember now. She's a member of the Mori gang. Those boys are just a cover-up. I'm not a member of any gang. You're upset. It's just a coincidence. He trailed me up here. He's been watching me, spying. This place would drive anybody drip dizzy, and you're no exception. I saw you at the living room window not 20 minutes ago. I was upstairs. Dinner is ready. Dinner? Who could eat dinner with a murderer in the house? You should talk. You've been indicted for bribery. And you're going to jail yourself. You. I'll have you watched every moment. You will not get away with it. Come along, Giles. I'm going to bed. You can eat later. Oh, gee, I was so hungry. Well, why don't you eat? He ain't paying me for that. What a wacky joint. Hey, Knuckles, let's get out of here. We can walk. That's my idea, too, Danny. Don't go, please. Well, I... I ain't welcome. Won't you stay and help me, please, Mr. Dolan? Why do you need help? Oh, I'm in danger. Judge Parker has been threatened. I've been threatened, too. The judge has been embezzling my money. He wouldn't care if something did happen to me. Don't leave this evening. I'm so afraid. I'll go with you in the morning, if I may. Okay, it's a deal. Oh, thank you. Hi, Ken. Hi. Hey, what's the matter? Oh, it's this whole setup. And you. Oh, you mean because Judge Parker thinks I'm up here to murder him? He don't believe you about looking after us and all that stuff. If the Mori gang come up here and get him, they'll drag you in on it. We just gotta get out of here, Knuckles. <laughs> we will in the morning. He's that girl. Miss Mason needs somebody to protect her. I don't mean any harm, Knuckles. It's just that... I couldn't go it if you was to get in another jam. Yeah, I know. But there ain't any danger then. I'd like to believe that. There seems to be danger all around here. Death threats and people peeping in windows and, and that old Agnes. Yeah. But don't worry about me, Danny. But suppose they do bump off the judge. Well, they'll try to pin it on you. And gee, that'd be awful. They might make it stick next time. Look, Danny, I ain't never gonna do nothing that'll hurt you. But I ain't leaving here till daylight. Look, you wouldn't want me to run out like a coward with Miss Mason on the spot, would you? No, I guess I wouldn't. Yeah. But watch your step, and don't even trust her. Okay, kid. Say, don't you think you kids ought to be getting to bed? Daylight's coming pretty fast. It can't come too fast to suit me. Where you going? No, around. Come on. <laughs> Don't go, pretty lady. Don't go yet. What do you want? You have such nice, soft, white skin. Nora had white skin like that, until it became yellowed and shriveled. 
What a pity, pretty lady, if your skin should lose its whiteness. What do you mean? Strange things happen when the moon is full, and Lenora cannot rest. Stop this nonsense. Stay here. Lenora would like that. Yes, what do you want? Gee, I wonder why they keep this place so dark. You're not afraid, are you? Who, oh, me? Have you seen Miss Mason? Shh. Judge Parker's trying to sleep. Miss Mason is retired, which shows her excellent judgment. Maybe he's right. But Louise said she'd meet me in the library. Come on. I tell you, the judge looks scared. And that man Giles is trying to calm him down. Well, as close to him as, as I am to you. I never had a front seat in a killing. That old station wagon had to break down. Why couldn't it pick out a better place? Yeah, maybe in one of those camps, maybe. We could have been splashing around a canoe instead of jitterbugging with our teeth. Is it my fault? Next time I'll tell my father to leave you in jail. You'll oh. tell him. We'll tell him. Hey, that old dame says a couple of us could sleep next door. Come on, Pee Wee. Wait a minute. Knuckles said for us to go to bed. We're we'll leaving early in the morning. Does he think there's going to be any trouble tonight? Nah. There's something funny about this old morgue. It's so big and empty, and yet it seems to be full of noises. There's lots of houses like that. Nothing to be afraid of. Nothing to be afraid of? Why, even my goose pimples got goose pimples. What was that? Uh, it's only the organ in the living room. You ain't kidding. No, my grandmother used to have one. But everybody's in bed. Somebody ain't. Let's see. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh. What's the matter, Spoon? Ain't you coming? Coming? You feel that hot air on your neck? <laughs> brother, that's my breath, brother. What? What's the matter? What you see it down here? It's a flashlight. I don't see nothing. <laughs> it's them ghosts again. It's probably that old Agnes. If I gotta choose between Agnes and those ghosts, I'm gonna take jail. Cut that comedy, will you? Nothing to be afraid of. Come on, let's see what it is. Will you scroll? Fire you off. Go ahead, you flush, Danny. Oh, flush. Still in there. <laughs> let's go back. <laughs> Russia. Okay, let's yeah. go. Yeah, let's go, go first. Okay, come on. Nobody here. There's still ghosts again. Hey, ghosts don't play your organs. Maybe they learn how. Lenora wouldn't like that. That's Lenora's organ. She plays it every night. Lenora? Oh, that's Mrs. Parker, isn't it? Lenora cannot rest. Her grave is ever empty at nights. Hey, uh, you can't scare us with that dribble. It's not a question of fear, but of your safety. Go fly a kite. Lenora will never rest until she gets revenge on him. Malcolm Parker wronged her cruelly, but he'll pay. <laughs> Remember, I warned you. Leave this house tonight. 
<laughs> She's crazy. She makes sense to me. Ghosts playing organs. Phooey. She was pushing those keys herself. Oh, uh, come on, fellas. Let's go to bed. You know, that's the best idea you've had all night. <laughs> yeah. Yes! Gee, it's, it's so dark. That's all right. Don't worry. I'm right with you. Yeah, me too. I can't see a thing. Oh! 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 Hey, it's Sam. What's the idea of sneaking up and chopping me? We didn't know you were up yet. What was you doing hiding out here? I wasn't hiding out. I was guarding the judge. Well, the judge's room ain't this far down the hall. Yeah, it ain't oh, down this far. What are you doing here, huh? Hey, Sam, you What's going on out here? We heard a noise, sir. We were investigating. Well, go back to bed. It's Sim's business to do the investigating around here. Yeah, sure there. Oh, uh, I guess we owe you an apology, Sim. Yeah, maybe we owe it to him, but I ain't giving it to him. So long as it's on the cup, you can have mine, too. I get blamed for everything around here. Eh, hey, you're crazy, I tell you. There ain't no such thing as ghosts. <laughs> I'm glad, ma'am, to see the real haunt was. She must have needed some glasses. Hmm. I guess you ought to know what she see. And I don't believe in ghosts. You want that old graveyard down here and everything. I'd just as soon go down here and walk short now. Why well, ain't it for... <laughs> ghosts! 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 I told you so. I told you so. Maybe it's Mrs. Parker. But she's dead. Maybe someone forgot to tell her. You said you weren't afraid of the graveyard. Go with me now. See what it is. Yeah, go on, go on, go on. What do you got to lose? Ghosts are nothing to be afraid of. There's nothing in the graveyard but a few stones. You, you want to go right now? Yeah, yeah go, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll go. You go. Come on, come on, we'll go. Come on, fellas. Who? Who us? us? Yeah, you. Come on. Well, I ain't gonna stay here by myself. I'm no, 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 don't hang on to me. You. No. No! Help! Help! Somebody help! 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 What's cooking, Shorty? What's the matter? The boss is dead! Dead! Murdered! Murdered! Wait a minute! Don't kill him! Guy, wait a minute! Don't go! What did that happen? I know what I told you so. Take it easy, kid. I didn't bump off nobody. You strangled Judge Parker with a cord from one of your own bedroom drapes. And you made away with Miss Mason, too. You mean Miss Louise? Miss Mason, do you? She's vanished, not a trace of her. Semp and I looked before we caught you. You kidnapped her so you could get through her bedroom to murder the judge. That's a lie. Stand still or I won't wait for the chair to finish you. Where are you going? To call the police. But I didn't do it, I tell you. Somebody must have sneaked that cord out of my room. Take that gun off my brother. And let him get away, nothing doing. No pardons for him this time. But I didn't do it, I tell you. Look. Say, where were you when all this happened? Yeah, where were you? Yeah, I had him spotted for a killer since the first time I saw him. Look at him shift the eyes. Now, where was you? In the room across the hall from the judges. Though why I should explain to you, I don't know. I think you ought to explain to me. I'm the bodyguard. I... You do some explaining. Where were you? You're a fine bodyguard. Well, I don't mind talking, but it's your turn now. Go ahead, go ahead, ask him some questions. How did you happen to find the judge? Or did you? Yes. I thought I heard a noise in the upstairs hall. I went in to see if he was all right. He was dead. Was the door locked? He locked it when I left him earlier in the evening, but I found it open. It's them ghosts again. Yeah, well, ghosts don't cut phone wires. Uh, we can't get any fingerprints off that phone now. Oh, gee, I must have missed them. It's worse than that, we can't call the police. Who'd ever think that I'd be looking for the police? Now we'll have to send somebody. Don't look at me. Not me. And brother, how's all out of mileage? Well, who would you suggest? Maybe Simp. Oh, 
I ain't going out when there's no killer loose. And that killer's getting away while you dumbbells are holding me. And Louise may be in trouble right this minute. Stop the dramatics. You know where she is, all right. Go on. Semp and I'll keep an eye on you in the living room until morning. Now you two can do the waiting for the cops. You kids get some rope, curtain cords or something. You favor curtain cords, don't you? We'll tie up these babies, put them in an upstairs room, and leave a guard on them. Scram. I'll be a guard. I learned how to handle a gun at school. Well, you can have one of the other kids for company. And the rest of us can look for Miss Mason. And the killer. We must find Louise. Who do you think you're deceiving? You're only waiting to get us tied up before skipping out. All right, Pete, you can help Algie. Step lively. Gee, that's the first time I was ever on the wrong end of a gun. All right, Algie, watch him close. If anything goes wrong, fire that gun. Where are you going? Outside to search the grounds. I'll put Danny and the other boys to work searching the house. I suppose it hasn't entered that thick skull of yours that if you're innocent, and we are too, Agnes might know something about all this. Yes, it has. But the way I see it, and from what Louise tells me about you and the judge, you're as guilty as if you'd spilled the beans. And that lets Agnes out. Uh, take it easy. Al Peter watching Simp and Giles. Pee-wee, you and Scrooge will see if you can find Agnes and the cook. They might know something. What do we do with them if we catch them? Just hold them and yell for knuckles. I'd rather hold the cook. Holding Agnes ain't my idea of romance. Hey, I'm going outside, so if you find them, be sure and holler good and loud. Mugs and me are taking care of this room and the rest are downstairs. Hey, just in case we got the wrong guys tied up. Watch your step, kid. Look here. Uh, uh, can we all stick together? I kind of lax crowd. <laughs> Come on. This ought to do it. Hey, ain't you too old to be looking for Santa Claus? I don't know. Murderers sometimes use chimneys. Oh, this joint kind of reminds me of those old castles with uh, passageways and secret panels and all that junk. <laughs> Cut it out, will you? This ain't no time for music practicing. I think this organ has something to do with the secret. You no, know, we heard it moaning just before that ghost showed up. Then Agnes says not to touch it. And Knuckles said Miss Mason was to meet him in this room. She vanished from this room. I bet you there's a secret towel. You're crazy. You haven't seen too many movies. Movies? That's it. Say, what's a thin man got that I ain't got? Mine no alloy. Give me a little time, bud. Give me a little time. <laughs> Say, Danny, you know what I think? You know what I think? Hey, Danny, why don't you... Hey, Danny! Hey, Danny! Oh, Mom! Danny! Hey, Mom, get me! It's the organ. Hey, what's the matter with your height? No, I'm all right, I just... Somebody grab your what? No, I was just leaning there and I fell in someplace. Hey, it's a secret passage. The way to his hideout. Call Knuckles, call. No, no. You and me's gonna explore it. Oh, oh no, not me. You're gonna explore it. I'll stand guard. Listen, you're coming in with me. Oh, well, I've been so near dead a million times tonight. I might as well get it over with. I'll get a candle. You go ahead. Oh, no, I don't mind waiting. It's all right. We get a match? Yeah, sure. Stop shaking the candle, will you? You're crazy. Light it, light it. That's it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Don't rush me. I'm going. I'm going. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on, don't be scared. Go ahead. You think I ought to get back and get some help, huh? Wait a minute. I think you better go first. Thank you. 
job, and I ain't no hurry. Come on. Jeepers creepers. Thanks. Feeling things. We got work to do. Come on now. anything, just yell. Okay. Don't forget to yell yourself. I'm... Looks like a ghost. these things in the room back there. I think it belongs to Agnes. Why would Agnes want going around making believe she was a ghost? Wants to scare us out of the place so she can knock off the judge. That's right. There might be some more stuff back there. Come on, let's look. Come on, you go first this time. I don't mean me go first. I ain't been staring up yet. Hey, we got knuckles. Sippin' Giles didn't kill Parker. Agnes did. Maybe you're right. She sure thought he was poison. Hey. That must be Mrs. Parker's. Hey, you don't suppose she's in it, do you? No, she's out getting a manicure. Didn't I just explain to you all about that ghost stuff? Come on, we gotta find Knuckles and report. Hey, you're not gonna go that way, are you? Why not? That, that man, though. Man or no man, we gotta go. Think I'm gonna stay in this dungeon the rest of my life? Come on.
Hey, I wonder what I'd kill this hit out. Beware. Separated in the dark? Go yell out the window for Knuckles. Okay. Hey, Knuckles! Yeah, what is it? We got the gun! We got it, uh, we got it, we... Go get some water. Okay, okay. Go. Well, Stu, get a move on. Yeah. Okay, okay, I'll get it. <laughs> so they got her, too. Judge Parker always preferred a young girl. That's what broke Lenora's heart. All right, cut the comedy, Agnes. We know all about you. You must be making that water. Where was she? How'd you find her? Well, Muggsy thought there was something funny about that organ over there. Hey, Scrooge! Scrooge! Yeah, what? What's the matter? What's the matter? I, I heard somebody yelling. <laughs> Maybe somebody else is dead. Yeah, it sounds more like Muggs calling Knuckles. Yeah. Come on, let's go downstairs and All find right. out. Right. Oh! Man, if it ain't one thing, it's another. This house is giving me the creeps. Graveyards and dead folks. I wish my mammy was here. But I'm scared. Oh, no, I'm gonna get out. Grave ghosts is everywhere. I gotta get out. And the man ran down the alley, and we brought her back here. Here, Danny, you take over. I'm going after him. Bring him. Oh, you found her, huh? Yeah. We didn't find that cook. No? And where were you? With Lenora. Hey, she's off again. Why don't you change that needle? Come on, wake up, babe, will you? Time since we heard that shot. Too long. I'm scared. I'm too scared to be scared anymore. Oh, leave it to Knuckles. Yeah, you okay, Knuckles? Yeah, I'm all right. How is she? Ah, uh, she'll come around one of these years. Well, you needn't get sore about it. Oh, it's not her, Knuckles. It's just that I'm so glad to see you're okay. Hey, he's a tough-looking mug, ain't he? You gonna let your Alge and Simp go now that you got him? Yeah, I forgot about him. Go tell Algie to cut him loose. Muggs. No, don't let that hey, go. Take it easy. I'll get the orders around here. Go ahead, Muggs. Hey, she's coming around. Are you all right, Louise? Well, the cops will be glad to find you waiting for him. Come on, come on, hurry up. Just wait till I get my hands on that Dolan. Go on, start something. I'd like to start sleeping, if you don't mind. Sleeping? With all the excitement going on? So what? You got your killer. You found Miss Louise. Nothing to do now when cops get here. I'm going to bed. Yes, I am too. Well, go on. Get out of here. Come well, fellas. Happy dreams.
wanted to stay in the background so that I'd have a better chance of trapping the killer. That's why I wanted the boys to find Miss Mason, why I led them to her. You can prove this? If you'll let me reach my hand Check in my it pocket. Easy. I'll do the reaching. Which pocket? Inside coat one. Jim Harrison, district attorney's office. Yes, a <laughs> little the worse for wear. Well, I'm sorry. That's all right. Hey, then you ain't the killer. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. I came out here to see to it that nothing happened to prevent Judge Parker from appearing for his trial. You didn't do a very good job of it. Just I'm afraid the DA will say. Hey, she's the killer. Mugs found that ghost of Mrs. Parker's grave. She tried to get rid of us so she could kill him. Is that right? Is this boy telling the truth? Why did you do it? Why did you kill Judge Parker? I didn't kill him. Oh, I admit I wanted to kill him for the way he treated poor Lenora. Lenora? Lenora was Judge Parker's wife. She lived here shunning the world during her last years because of his cruelty. So you killed him for revenge? No, I planned to kill him. That's why I pretended to be a ghost, to get these children to leave the manor. But when I went to kill him, he was dead. Stop lying. You killed Malcolm Parker. I didn't kill him. But I'm glad he's dead. This is going to be a long, hard job, and I can do it better without such a large audience. If you kids want to help, go and see if you can find the cook. The cook? That's right, he's still missing. Hey, we looked all over for him before. Come on, fellas, let's go. I sure could go for some of that. You know, you and Pete, we take the dining room. Mugs and me will be upstairs. Okay, right. Be sure to look everywhere. Hey, Scrono. Yeah? Find anything? No, nope, not yet. Did you? No. Nope. Oh, excuse me. Ah! He's dead. Help! Why did you kill him? I didn't kill him. I like to cook. Listen, we're going to stay here until you talk. I didn't do it. You did it because he saw you kill Parker, didn't you? Talk! Louise, you've got to get hold of yourself. Tell me who did this and we'll have the murderer. Her. All right, you kids go through the tunnel. Okay, but are you all right? Yeah, yeah, I know a shortcut. Get oh, going. Come on, kids. yourself right into the grave. Get over there. Sam. Come on. Hold it. Hey, Alex. All right, Sam. Here's your murderer. He was the judge's bodyguard. Bodyguard? That's Johnny Harris, Maury's best trigger man. Sam. Did he do it? Yes. Well, lock him up. That's what we're going to do. And just so he won't be lonesome, we're going to lock you up, too. Well, what for? You know all about Judge Parker's business. And when you talk to the court, there'll be a lot of New York crooks going up the river. Well, what do you think of that? Eh, knew it all the time. Had him pegged right from the start. Oh, you're oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Right. I thought it was a so so Come on. Let's get out of here. I'm going back to town with Mr. Harrison, but with Judge Parker gone, I'll be very much alone. Well, I uh, might be able to find a place for you in our game. How about it, boys? Hey, fellas, look what's coming. Oh, boys! Boys! Cake! Boys! Ghost? No, that's my hand you eating, man. 